With a recent security breach in Newark Airport and the attempted Christmas Day attack on an airliner bound for Detroit, airport security has been the talk of the town and the nation. And here to talk about what you are talking about is our power panel, journalist Judy Licht and Lynn White and the advertising executive Charlotte Ann Nelson. So starting with you, Judy, are you comfortable with the steps the president's taken so far to ensure our safety traveling? I think he's gone a long way to making it better. But the reality is until he realizes this is a war and that these are terrorists, these are not extremists, I will not feel comfortable until he owns up until he owns up to the fact that this was an administration failure not an intelligence failure uh, after Bay of Pigs John Kennedy said the fault was his and his approval ratings ran up I mean I think that we are taking the right steps but why are we telling people what we're doing why announce that there are 14 countries and what countries they are why not just do it why do we have to be so transparent in the way we handle you know all of these terrorists and yet we're not even transparent on health care. Good point. I so agree <laughs> with you. Oh my goodness. New Don't year. Tell me you've got new vibe. You. <laughs> Absolutely right. I think the I'm whole shocked. system needs to be overhauled. Where are we living? How antiquated is our system, our security in this country? I think that without security, we don't have much of anything. And I think that the buck stops with the president. I think he tried to own up to it as much as he could, but not enough. I think he is talking about terrorism, and I don't think that's the most important part. The most important part is modernizing what doesn't work. And you're right, shut up about it. Don't tell the world. Just They'll be like it. 10 so steps I, I ahead of us. So favor the full body scanners that come in. Whatever that, that works. And really I think that there, it, there's some other solution Solution that's even better than that, some computerized system where you put your finger in something and there's a fingerprint and, and they can scan that and, and that scans your full body into a computer. This but there's software just a step for that. For profiling, you know. But, I mean, that is, you that know, is, in a war time, it's okay. Well, the Israelis have been doing it very successfully for right. a long time, unabashedly profiling based on race and religion. But why weren't they doing that? At Christmas, well, with a you know guy who walks on a plane. Yeah. I mean, the other thing the Israelis have been doing is putting an air marshal on every single flight because the Israelis appropriately prioritize their security. Mm -hmm. and what's sort of astonishing to me, given the amount of money that this country spends on foreign wars, is the little attention that our own border has received. I mean, the, f the failures throughout the intelligence security hierarchy from, yes, Obama at the top, right down to the a guy checking, allowing someone to check in with no luggage and paying cash. Well, would just you phenomenal. agree about a full body scan, Charlotte Ann? I, I wouldn't. So I don't like the full body scans because it is an invasion of privacy. And if, look, if the rest of the system was working and people were still getting through, I would say, okay, maybe it's come to this. But for heaven's sake, the guy's father phones in, a very respected man in Nigeria. Oh, Tim, flags in. this. <laughs> like, what's you know, in? I think there's some other easier stuff we can fix. Before Let me press we a three on that point liberties. right now about, about the Christmas Day bomber. Should he be in the criminal justice system or should he be treated as an enemy combatant? It doesn't matter. It, it does, does matter. He's going to be prosecuted. Deeply. It matters deeply. Richard and I Reed, the shoe bomber, went through the same system he's and it going was a through. Mistake. It was a mistake then. Why it was does a it mistake. matter? It matters because it's, again, it gets back to what I was talking about before. We are at war. We didn't declare the war. They declared the war on us. And until we handle it in a military way, in a really serious manner, until we say these are terrorists and they belong in a military Military it's situation, the judicial system tribunal. of our country. You're saying it's not, not good when enough. We're at war. But that's not all we have, war. really. And that, well, actually, it's worked we, in the past. We do have legal military means of doing that. Yeah, but, but, but we don't have yeah. to go to that extreme. I, I don't think, in, in fact. He's I lawyered up and he's not talking. And he may have evidence. He's our freshest Al Qaeda captive. And he may have evidence about others he could point to, right? Uh, yeah, but Chuck, you can take that. I mean, you're not advocating waterboarding or things of that extreme. So well, the you, question well, you is, have, you, you have people willing to set their are. genitals on fire to kill That's hundreds right. of Americans. I understand, I think but it's is, is waterboarding so terrible under those circumstances? Yes, yes, it's terrible because it's about the message you're sending to the world. I agree with Judy. This really matters, but America has to be a beacon for what we believe However, in. However, I think I disagree with you there because I think that the message we have to send to the world is what we mean business, and we we have to worry about. We shouldn't worry so much about being loved as we should worry about being respected. Speaking of meaning business, we have to do something right now. Oh. We'll be right <laughs> oh, back. That. Thank you, ladies, for coming. <laughs> it's always you. a pleasure. We'll be right back.